Okay, so I am in my server one and my server four ten core. And we're gonna do activity three dash six, adding servers to server manager. So I'm gonna go in here to my server manager and I'm going to add my core. Mm -hmm. 410 server core, but before I do that, I need to go into my PowerShell and put in my trusted hosts. So give me a second. Okay, so I'm actually just going to run um, the get item trusted hosts command. Um, it's going to show me which hosts are already listed a trusted host on my well it's supposed to hang on just a second get item all right so I'll read it again So this is going to completely erase anything that was already on there as a trusted host and put the 410 server core in there as a host. What? So I'm just going to go a different route. I'll go through the command line. And the 410 server core is already a trusted host. So then we can move on and go into server manager. Let's and we can go into manage add server. And we'll look it up in DNS. So four ten server core. And we'll just add it over here. Click OK. And then we'll go to all servers. And here is our server core. And once that is in there, we're going to right click on it and we'll run PowerShell on this. And wait for that to come up, see what the host name is. Host name is Fortran Server 4. And so then we are going to go in.
Look at me pushing the clock right here. That's why I'm in such a hurry. So we're going to go and type in get Windows Features. And do absolutely nothing with this command except for type it in. Wait for it all to load because in this activity it just wants us to see all of the features that we can add to this computer. And so let's go down there, exit out of that, and we're down to step 11. Right click on the server core and open No, 10. Right click on the server core and add roles and features. And we're not going to do anything out of that either, but it wants us to look at the wizard. In the server selection window, you see the 410 server core computer in the list of available servers. Very nice. Right click 410 server core, click computer management. And let's go in here to check out some MMC stuff. Message. So it's saying before you can use MMCs to manage remote server, you need to configure the Windows firewall on your remote server. If you are continuing to the next activity, leave both servers running and stay logged in to 410 server 1. Otherwise, log off or shut down the servers. So I'm going to continue on to the next activity, but I'm not going to record anything for the next activity. Um, I'm just completely ecstatic that I finally got the 410 server core up here and running. You should check out my other server one troubleshooting video. It's about 40 minutes long of trying to figure out why I couldn't get the server core added on server manager. It's a pretty fun video. Anyways, that's all for today. See you guys next time.